Fumi Ala Sholoyi is gradually becoming popular for street art in Nigeria. Even though it must have been rather tempting taking this exhibition to the heart of the mainland and not going inside the hall of the Lagos Country Club, she stuck to her guns and instead raised the bar for her second solo show, exploring the theme, my life experiences, its inspirations and beauty. It talks about, you know, everyday life challenges and situations. You know, we all, everyday life, you know, we all face one thing or the other, be it sad, be it happy, be it good. And the reason why I chose this theme, my life is, um, experience, it's inspiration and beauty, is to encourage every one of us. I love to make people happy, I like to make people joyous, I love to make people, you know, just have a feel that there's life and there's light at the end of the tunnel. From fascinating mixed media work on canvas, to acrylic paint designs, to inspirational quotes from great minds, to projects that portray positive attitudes which she is asking people to embrace. And that's why I'm using art as a medium to uh, communicate with people, you know. If you look around, I have inspirational quotes, you know, motivational ones that encourages one. We face all sorts of challenges. We know how the hustle and bustle that we experience, you know, in our everyday life, is, especially when we go to work, the traffic, the stress. So what I'm trying to encourage people is that the way we handle things in life matters. So if we're always having a positive approach in everything that we do, we will always excel and you know it's the way we handle things in life so what i've done is i've selected quotes that when you read it something that applies to you when you see it you'll find you know you get inspiration from it michael jordan the basketballer he says he said that he has failed 9000 times and that's why he succeeded because he's tried and tried and tried again so i try to imbibe positive um, inspiration positiveness in people's life so that they can move forward in life she allows her imagination to run wild it's seen in other works such as The Flower in the Box, which is one of her latest projects. As flowers represent beauty, it serves as a metaphor for people to have a positive attitude in life. So I've collaborated this with one of what I call my icing on the cake, which is the flower in the box. And then you can look at the flowers, they how blooming and bright they are. Now if you want to plant a flower, you have to sow a seed and nurture it. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes water, it takes manure for it to blossom. And that is how life is generally. Once you do all that with time, and you get where you want to go. That beauty is the flower. You go through all those stages in life, and then you get there at the end of the day. So that's why I selected this thing, because I want to impact positiveness in people. She also reaches out to her childlike side by showing off these cartoons. I have something for everybody. From the oldies, from the oldies and the newies, you know. I have vintage photos, like from 1960, the Dumota, the Qatar Bridge in 1960 during the Independence Day. I have uh, cartoon characters for children. We have Dora. We have the old Sesame Street. We have Tom and Jerry. We have Scooby Doo and Scrabby Doo. I'm sure some of us at our old age can remember some of those cartoon characters. We also have something for sport lovers, like tennis players and those that love swimming and. Um, badminton and all that. There are some inspirational quotes for those sports as well. And then we have for clubs like um, the Girls Brigade, the club, um, the Cub Scouts, the Brownies, the Girl Guides and all that. So I have something here for everybody. Something to inspire people and make them move on in life. For those who have watched her grow, the belief Fumi is gradually finding her voice. She came with serious mind and with focus and she learned it with diligence in her mind and succeeded. And she didn't stop there that if my boss can do this, I too, I can do it better. And she started just like play. This is her second art exhibition. Very interesting. When she came out with the flower in the box and the cartoon character, it was like play. But she now discovered that she needs to rebrand it and she's moving forward. What I would call a soiree exhibition in the afternoon in an enclosure, lovely, and, uh, and a nice admixture of both real paintings, photographs, and also bits and pieces of designs. It's, it's been a great effort. It's beautiful. Uh, uh, we've, we've gathered here Cups of characters, images, 
uh, beautiful flowers in the box, you know. Uh, you know, art is about nature, you know, and nature speaks to you, speaks to different situation of one's life. She's very hardworking, and you know it's not easy to combine two works together. She's combining the art as well as the paint industry, and I'm proud of her. This exhibition showcases what's been happening in her neck of the woods and for what to expect in the future. I believe in life, everything starts gradually. A baby has to crawl before the baby can walk. The baby cannot walk first. So that's the stage I am right now. Professor Bolande Awe, a renowned historian and former director of the Institute of African Studies, University of Ibadan, UI, is one of Africa's leading historians and academics. She was born on January 26, 1933, and attended elementary school at Holy Trinity School, Omofe Ilesha and St. James Primary School, Okebola Ibadan, between 1939 and 1945, respectively. Between 1946 to 1951, she attended the prestigious St. Anne School, Ibadan, where she obtained the Cambridge School Certificate. Afterwards, she gained admission to Perth School for Girls, Cambridge, an A-levels course in English, History and Latin between 1952 and 1954. Professor Awe has been a lecturer in the Department of History, University of Ibadan from 1967 to 1980. At the time of her appointment as a lecturer at Ibadan, she was considered one of the youngest academics on the African continent. She's been senior lecturer, University of Lagos, School of African and Oriented Studies, where she was also a senior research fellow of the Institute of African Studies between 1969 and 1976. She was appointed Phelps Stokes Fellow African Lecture Series in the United States of America in 1973. In 1986, she represented the University of Ibadan at the Penn University of Ibadan Exchange Lecturer in Philadelphia. She is a founding member of the University of Ibadan. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. And that's how we draw the curtain on this week's edition of Art House. Many thanks for staying with us. And don't forget, the conversation continues online. It's always a pleasure to hear from you. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Have a lovely day.